Hey guys, it's Jenna or Blue Eyed Bibliophile and welcome back to my channel where we fangirl extravagantly. I just took a shower and my hair is still kind of damp so it's kind of a mess and I'm sorry about that but that is not what this video is about. I have totally been reviewing these books all at once but today I'm going to be talking about Cress by Marissa Meyer. This is for the thumbnail. You guys, this book was the best book in the series yet. I experienced much flailing and dying whale noises while reading this book. I'm serious, it was that good. I loved it so much. One thing that I absolutely love about the Lunar Chronicles series is how well the books mesh together to make one great story. But with that comes the fact that you cannot talk about one book without spoiling something from the previous book. So if you've not read all three of these books, um, leave. Okay, sorry, that came across kind of strong, um, but yeah, you just leave. I am going to be spoiling it. I mean, it's just inevitable it's going to happen. Like, you, if you talk about one thing, it's directly related to another thing in one of the other books, or maybe the same book. It's so confusing. Ah. But once you have read all three of these books, you can come back and we will discuss it together. But for those of you who have read all three of these books, you can stay and watch this video because, I mean, I have not read Winter yet either, so... Bye, people who have not read these books yet! Let's jump right into this! In this book, we continue to follow Cinder as she plans to stop Prince Kai from marrying Queen Lavanna. Obviously, this book is based off Rapunzel. If, if you didn't know that, you live under a rock. I was completely shocked to see how well this book mirrored the actual original story of Rapunzel. It was so good. We get to finally meet Cress, who has been imprisoned on a satellite which is orbiting Earth. How lovely. Cress manages to come in contact with Cinder, Scarlet Wolf, and Thorn, and they plan to rescue her. But the mission goes terribly wrong. This results in Cress and Thorn plummeting towards Earth, Scarlet getting captured by the enemy, Wolf barely escaping with his life, and Cinder just in the middle of it all. Why am I still holding this book? This should go up here now. This series is very confusing. The reader has to put their full attention on what is going on and make sure that they are having no distractions so they can actually understand everything or else you get really confused and then you're behind and you just don't understand. Honestly, I have tried to explain um, the concept of the series a few times to some of my friends and family, but I just couldn't do it because you just, you just have to read the books. You all know that because you're all people who have read them, right? Or at least you should be. Do not spoil yourself. Okay, I have quite a lot to say about this crazy group of misfits. Cinder continues to amaze me. She quickly goes from a powerless and mistreated cyborg to a fierce fugitive who manages to escape every situation just in the nick of time. Yep, she's still one of my favorites. Prince Kai joins the team! But this part's pretty funny because he doesn't like willingly join the team, no. Cinder shoots him, and then she kidnaps him. But it doesn't matter how he became part of the team, because he is part of the team! <laughs> yeah... I don't really want to talk about Scarlet. But I guess I will, since she's part of this book too. I just don't like Scarlet. I find her very annoying, and then she managed to get herself captured, and then she managed to get her pinky finger cut off. Like, what the heck, Scarlet? Can't you fend for yourself? I mean, she's a pilot, which is great, but can't she do anything else besides that? Earlier, back in Scarlet, she seemed so feisty. I mean, she carried a gun with her everywhere she went. But I continue to find her point of view really boring and I just don't like reading chapters from her perspective. Which brings me to Wolf, who also annoys me a lot. I mean, okay, Wolf has like these anger issues and he's crazy. All we really see of Wolf in this book is him moping around, being all upset, and he's not very helpful. He's completely useless until the very end when he helps Cress out. 
and I still do not ship him with Scarlet. I just do not see it. They are my least favorite couple, and I, I just have a major problem with them because they don't go well together. That's enough of that, but speaking of ships, can we please talk about Cress and Thorn? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See, now this is where the dying whale noises came into play. Thorn quickly became a favorite character of mine, okay? I love him a lot. He's quirky and funny, and he has just the right amount of kindness to balance out the cockiness. And if you've read the original story of Rapunzel, you would see how closely his character matches up to the prince, I believe, in Rapunzel. In the original story, the person who saves Rapunzel becomes blind, and guess what? Thorn managed to hit his head on a bed, and then he went blind because of the impact. So how about that? Goodness, that child made me laugh out loud several times while I was reading this book. And Chris, oh my goodness. She's adorable and awkward, and although she is super shy, Thorn always brings out the best in her, and it is adorable. Also, I think she's really underestimated because she's amazing with technology, but the whole group does not, like, automatically see her as someone who is really great with that stuff, but she's a hacker. The rest of the group would not survive without her. She is such an important piece of the puzzle, and I love her so much. I'm not sure I want to talk about Jason either. I just don't know how I feel about him. He's too serious and I don't know if he's a traitor or if he's not a traitor. Like, what happened there? I got very confused. I don't know what to think about him. So obviously he's in love with Princess Winter because he was like, oh, I serve my princess. And we all thought that he was the one who knew that Cinder was Princess Selene. No, no, we, we were wrong. He didn't know that. He actually was speaking about Princess Winter, who he is in love with. And speaking of Winter, I don't know what the heck is up with her. I, I think she's insane. I mean, nothing that comes out of her mouth makes sense, and I'm just kind of scared of her, and yeah, she scares me a lot. She wants to keep Scarlet as a pet. What? <laughs> See, these are the reasons I'm eager to read Winter because I, I want to know what happens. Like, who is this Winter chick? Why is she so crazy? Did, did the queen take some brain cells out of her mind, like, when she was a youngin', or... I don't, I don't know what's going on with her. I almost forgot about Iko? Iko? I don't know how most people say it. I say it Iko. I don't know. But, um, yeah, how about her getting to be like a human for once? And Thorn getting that body for her, that's so sweet, he's so considerate, and I think Iko is going to be a kick -buck character, and I cannot wait to read more about her. I really enjoyed her in this book. But overall, I really, 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 really enjoyed this book, and I cannot wait to read Winter because I mostly just want answers, and also I, I just, I, I want to see more of Cress and Thorn, <laughs> like a lot more. Before I go, I have some news for you guys. This was my last video with these awful things on my teeth, braces. I am so sick and tired of them, and I'm getting them off tomorrow, which is Wednesday. But I'm finally getting these awful braces off, and I am so, so excited. Also, I will not be posting videos at all in the month of July. I'm going to this awesome ballet summer camp thing, and I won't be around at all to make videos. But I will be taking some books to camp with me, which I will be making a video about soon, I believe. In a couple days, I will be making a video about the books I'm taking with me. But that is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Thorn has quickly become a favorite character of mine. Was that English? Did I say that correctly? Hello, focus on me. Ugh. She shoots him. <laughs> was that confusing? That was kind of confusing. I'm sorry. Um, yeah.
Crazy group of myths. Like, who is this winter chick?